Let me get these cameras out of the way. The Methane Emissions Technology Evaluation Center in Colorado is like a movie set for the oil and gas industry, complete with wellheads that leak on command. It's where companies test new products. The companies, uh, sometimes we don't tell them where the leaks are, and they come in and try to find the leaks, and then uh, and then they try to estimate the leak rates, and we can tell them how, how well they've done. Go ahead and record then. On this morning, a team from FLIR, a company that specializes in thermal imaging, was trying out a new optical gas imaging camera. We're always trying to make our products better, uh, make them lower cost to meet the industry demands. And so we're looking at some next generation technologies. Stray methane, a far more potent gas than carbon dioxide, and a prime component of natural gas is a major headache for oil and gas companies. According to one study, 2% of natural gas produced in the U.S. escapes directly into the atmosphere. It just has a lot of opportunities to, to leak out, and it's a gas. I mean, it doesn't want to be confined in these pipes. Methane leaks mean lost revenue for oil and gas producers. Methane is also subject to environmental regulation. So many companies are turning to technology to try to identify and plug those leaks. Nowadays, they have lots of options. Our technology allows for 100% capture uh, very reliably and very effectively. EcoVapor's Mike McMahon touts his 0O2 vapor recovery solution, a system that pulls methane vapors directly from oil storage tanks, where he says most emissions are typically found. All the vapor that's generated in the storage tanks can be captured and sold, and none sent to flare. Long Path Technologies uses laser beams that bounce off reflecting mirrors to find methane plumes, often at very long distances. This laser emits hundreds of thousands of colors of light all through the infrared, and so we can detect not only methane, but CO2 and water. We can use a single device and spread the cost of that device over a large number of potential leak sites. A variety of other high-tech methods are being deployed against a problem made more challenging by the natural gas boom and the more than one million wells and kilometers of pipeline in the U.S. The recent Trump administration proposal to drop federal methane emissions regulations was disappointing, says the man who helps run this center. Well, obviously, I don't think it's a great idea. But many states have their own restrictions in place, and Anthony Marchese says the big players in the oil and gas industry remain mostly on board in a methane fight that's always resisted an easy fix. We finally have a handle on the magnitude of, of the problem. Hendrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.